Central Processing Unit, as we like to call it, the brain of the computer. Imagine a little brain running inside your computer, zipping around, managing every single thing you ask it to do. Whether you're browsing memes, editing videos, or binge watching your favorite show, the CPU is like, got it, no problem. But here's the thing, it gets hot. I mean, think about it, handling millions of tasks per second. Yeah, it's bound to break a sweat, which is why it's usually chilling under a giant fan. Now imagine you're a video editor. The CPU is your main buddy. It's doing all the heavy lifting when you're rendering videos or exporting your latest masterpiece. If you're rocking basic stuff, you can get away with a quad-core CPU like the AMD Ryzen 5 or Intel i5. But for those epic 4K projects, yeah, you'll want something beefier like the AMD Ryzen 9 or Intel i9. And let's talk money. Entry-level CPUs will cost you anywhere from $150 to $300. But if you want that turbocharged 8-core power, you're looking at $400 to $600 or more. RAM the short-term memory of your computer. Think of it as your computer's forgetful assistant who's great at remembering what's important right now. But as soon as you shut down, it's like, what files? Who dis? RAM is what keeps things running smoothly when you're multitasking, opening 42 browser tabs and editing a video at the same time. No sweat, as long as you got enough RAM. Now, imagine you're a video editor again. RAM becomes your best friend when you're working on big projects. For regular old 1080p stuff, 16 GB of RAM will do just fine. But if you're diving into some 4K editing, you'll want at least 32 GB, or your computer might start feeling sluggish. And that's no fun for anyone. Prices? 16 GB will set you back around $60 to $100, while 32 GB is more in the $150 to $250 range. The motherboard, the real backbone of your system. This is where everything plugs in and works together like a well-oiled machine. Imagine it like a busy highway interchange. Your CPU, RAM, storage, and graphics card are all cruising along, connected through the motherboard. And don't forget the BIOS, that's like the team captain, making sure everything's ready to go before the game, your operating system starts. If you're a video editor, which we're imagining, remember, you'll need a motherboard that can handle the heavy duty stuff, extra RAM slots, support for high speed connections, and plenty of room for that fancy SSD we'll talk about later. Expect to pay $100 to $200 for a solid motherboard but if you want the super deluxe version with all the bells and whistles, be ready to drop around $250 to $500. Storage, it's where all your embarrassing selfies, unfinished projects, and that folder labeled important stuff, which we all know is not important, live. There are two main types of storage, the hard drive and the SSD. Hard drives are like that old station wagon your grandpa drove, reliable but slow as molasses. SSDs on the other hand are like a sports car, lightning fast and super sleek. If you're a video editor, stay with me, you need an SSD. Trust me, when you're transferring huge video files, you don't want to be sitting there waiting forever. A one terabyte SSD is a good place to start for your active projects, and you can save those older projects on a bigger two terabytes hard drive. You're looking at $70 to $150 for a decent one terabyte SSD, and around $50 to $80 for a two terabytes hard drive for all that archived footage. The Power Supply PSU, AKA the reason your computer doesn't just sit there like a lump. The PSU converts the electricity from your wall outlet into usable energy for your computer. It's like your computer's life force, and without it, well, nothing's happening. Imagine you're a video editor, getting good at this now, huh? And you've got a powerhouse system. You'll want a PSU with enough juice to run all those high performance components like your CPU and GPU. A 600W to 750W PSU should cover most setups, but if you're really going all out, you might want more wattage. These guys typically cost $60 to $120, but if you want the big guns, it'll run you around $150 to $200. GPU, I like to call it the artist of the computer. This is the component responsible for all the visuals you see on your screen, whether you're watching a movie, playing a game, or, you guessed it, editing videos. A good GPU makes sure all those graphics look smooth and sharp without any lag or weird glitches. So imagine, Yep, you're still a video editor. You're working on some stunning 4K footage. The GPU makes sure everything looks amazing while you're editing. 
if you're serious about video work, a mid-range GPU like the NVIDIA RTX 3060 will do just fine. But if you want to go big with fancy visual effects, consider the RTX 4070 or AMD Radeon RX 7900. Expect to pay around $300 to $450 for mid-range GPUs, but high-end models will easily run you $700 to $1200 plus. Cooling systems. With all this power under the hood, your computer can get pretty hot. Enter the cooling system your computer's personal trainer, keeping it cool and in shape. Most computers have fans, but some high performance systems opt for liquid cooling, which is like an ice bath for your CPU and GPU. If you're editing videos for hours on end, you'll need a good cooling system to prevent your computer from slowing down, or worse, shutting off to avoid overheating. Air cooling systems are affordable, ranging from $30 to $80 while liquid cooling setups cost $100 to $200 for that extra chill factor. Peripherals. The tools you use to actually interact with your computer, like your keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Think of them as your control center. Without them, you'd be staring at a blank screen, furiously clicking nothing. Now, imagine you're editing videos, last time I promise, and you need everything to look perfect. You'll want a high-resolution monitor, preferably 4K, for color accuracy and detail. And let's not forget about a mechanical keyboard and a precision mouse to speed up your workflow. A good 4K monitor can set you back $300 to $600 plus, while mechanical keyboards range from $80 to $150, and a solid precision mouse will cost you around $50 to $100. And there you have it, the ultimate rundown of all your computer's key parts. From the brainy CPU to the hardworking GPU and everything in between, these components make sure your rig can handle anything, whether you're browsing the web, gaming, or editing your latest blockbuster in your imaginary career as a video editor, of course. If you learned something new or enjoyed the ride, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more out-of-this-world content. Until next time, keep your helmets on and your eyes on the stars.